Hey, how's it going? I'm Isla Golden and welcome to my blog. All right, okay, so we now have a date for the store reopening. Um, I don't know when my first shift is going to be yet. I don't know at this point if I'm going to have to go in for any pre-opening training or anything like that. All I really know so far is that we have a date for my reopening and our business manager ha has had at least one meeting at this point discussing exactly how things are going, for going to go forward, but that information hasn't been related to us yet. So my guess is, you know, probably going to have at least another week <laughs> of definitely being at home. And then after that point, whatever will happen will, will happen but the date for reopening is not until august which is fairly close at this point um but it's sort of mid-august i'm not going to say what the date is because i don't know if it's been officially kind of announced or anything yet um so I, i'm kind of like well i know what it is and i've you know i've told members of my family what it is but I'm not, you know, going to release it here because I don't know if I'm allowed to or not. So <laughs> basically what it comes down to. I'm sure, I'm sure when I come to film my vlog next week, when, I, when I'm hopefully going to have a little bit more information, I will be able to sort of say definitely, you know, what's going to happen from this point forward. But at, at this moment in time, there's still a lot of, a lot of questions about you know what's going to happen and and how it's all going to work and you know like even when my first shift is going to be and, and stuff like that i mean i'm imagining because i'm a fairly experienced member of staff i'm probably going to be one of the ones doing the first day um i'm not sure how i feel about that <laughs> I mean, as I say, right now it's kind of like it's speculation. I don't know for sure if I will be. There is a good chance that I won't be. That it will be somebody else. That I might, you know, not actually have my first shift back, like after the opening, until like you know maybe a couple of days later. But I, re I really don't know. I really don't know how we're going to how we're going to play it. How they're going to who they're going to want um, on for that first shift. As I said, I don't even know if. Like a couple of days beforehand, we're you know going to be called in for like whatever or whatever, or if it's just going to be no. Once once we start, um, we're gonna gonna make sure you know these people have the information, and then they're going to you know roll everything out to everybody else. I have no idea. I have no idea how it's going to work. But I probably find some of this information <laughs> um, because obviously we're not the first chain in the franchise um, to be reopened um not or, or in the company as a whole to be reopened so yeah the information is probably there if i wanted to find it but i would rather get you know what specifically is going to be happening for us with our store because obviously we're slightly late slightly further on in the process so it might well be that what happened earlier on in the process isn't going to necessarily apply for us um like i said moment in time I, I really don't have any, have any information other than the fact that you know, when we're reopening is the day that we are going to officially reopen um which as I said is in, is in August <laughs> which you know obviously at this point <laughs> from what I've told you guys before um and I also know that our business manager has had a meeting about it yesterday um and that information will be rolling out to us from the beginning of next week which kind of suggests to me that there's definitely probably going to be a week of, you know, still sitting around on our lazy asses before we have to do any training or whatever, if there's going to be any training or whatever. Um, but yeah, and then, and then there are other kind of things because I'm pretty sure um, the business as a whole is still on limited hours at this point. I don't think they've they've gone back to, to their normal hours yet, which I, I think I've mentioned before um, will probably mean 
you know, will definitely mean me having to work different hours to the ones that I was previously working because the hours that I was previously working, some of those hours would be before we were open. <laughs> Like enough before we were open where, you know, I couldn't get away with, you know, anything really. Um, so, yeah, it, it, it's one of those cases where I'm kind of like, well, if we're not doing the normal opening times, then uh, they're probably going to be, it's probably going to be shorter hours for people. But again, I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's all a case of what's going to be the most effective for the largest number of people because you've got to make sure that everybody is getting as many shifts as they can get um while still making sure that everything is, is running in a smooth and safe and you know whatever else kind of way so at this moment in time i've kind of got, oh, I've got so many questions so many questions and i've got thousands of answers no the answers are coming so it's fine but yeah, all, all I can really sort of do now is kind of speculate about how things might be. And I, I yeah, that's kind of pointless, really. <laughs> kind of pointless to speculate about how things might be. So, um, yeah, so that's finally, finally. Um, that's that's good. So my roundup of, of August will probably feature what it was like going back to work. <laughs> <laughs> since it's not going to be in my roundup of July which will be coming up uh fairly soon um still waiting on my cover guy to finish the second cover I mean, it's, it's almost done it's just like the one little bit but you know life's getting in the way on his end of things at the moment and you know I, I perfectly understand um perfectly understand and it, it's a fiddly little bit as well it's kind of like you know better to wait until he's got the the right mindset and energy to do it um but hopefully that'll get uh that'll get sorted fairly soon and then there's i can release those two books just ahead of going back to work and uh, you know if a miracle happens <laughs> oh because that's that's the thing that's the thing i i'm at this sort of point now where i know exactly how i would be and, and how I would exist as a full-time writer if only I was pulling in the money to, to actually be a full-time writer right now so yeah I'm, I'm in that sort of frame of mind of um, definitely know how things are going to progress over the next couple of years in terms of releases it's just about trying to get those releases to do what I need them to do so I can get to where I want to get to um, which is, is going to be a slower process than I, I initially thought it would be, um, just basing it on how things work at the beginning of the year. But at the same time, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Um, so, yeah, it's uh, very much that kind of situation um, at the moment where I'm just waiting for a whole bunch of things to happen to see how my life is going to progress from this point. <laughs> Um, but yeah, no, it's, it feels positive, it feels positive, it feels, uh, everything feels very sort of positive at the moment, I mean, yes, there are a lot of unknowns, yes, there are a lot of necessities, yes, there are a lot of, uh, <laughs> and a little bit of, I, I wish I could just be a full-time writer at this point, I really wish I could be, but, um, since I can't be, and since I do still remember enjoying my day job, I'm looking forward to, to that restarting next month um, and hopefully uh, getting a bit more information to you now and next week will you know, solidify the reality of that into my, into my brain uh, a little bit more. Um, but yeah, so yeah, definitely, definitely a different position for the one that I was in last week. I'm probably going to wrap this one up here before I start talking too much about book stuff again because I know I know I know I know I know <laughs> most of the ones I've done this year have been book stuff book stuff book stuff book stuff but like I said before it's kind of all I've had going on this year <laughs> I wasn't as bad until lockdown started and then all of a sudden I just I just did not have anything else going on so everything kind of 
you know, that's just that's just the way the cookies crumbled, unfortunately, because of the craziness that is 2020. What can I say? Um, but yeah, no, so as you can, as I've said, I've had some good news. I know when I'm going back. I know when our store is reopening. I don't know exactly when I'm going back to work yet because, as I said, there are still a few unknown factors. I don't know if I'm going to be required to go in before we open for anything. I don't know if I'm going to have a shift on the, the actual day that we first opened. So I don't actually know when I'm going back to work at this point. <laughs> but I know when our store is reopening and that is progress. <laughs> that is progress. Um, Alright, okay, so I hope you guys have enjoyed this very short one. Um, hope you're looking forward to seeing what I'm talking about next time. Um, and I will see you guys next time. See ya. <laughs> if you've enjoyed this video, feel free to check out some of my others. And if you like what you see, please like and subscribe. See ya!